Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman, and uh, we are celebrating in the back of our guest um, uh, hallway there, or uh, office, is a Pistons jersey, which is cool, because we're going to the Detroit area, and as you can see, I'm wearing my Lions paraphernalia. Once again, Jose Flores, who's the CEO of Anchor Automotive in Troy, Michigan, um, Congratulations to all of us on Detroit's success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Chris. Um, and I'm very excited about the award. Jose, I'm, let's talk about that a little bit, too. Um, you, you recently, you're coming off two pretty major awards, right? You were honored as the 2023 D Business 30 in their uh, 30s recipient and yeah. also... Back. that's the back there okay <laughs> and also uh th this is this is really cool um you're the uh recipient of the 2023 hispanic business person of the year award given out by the united states chamber of commerce um let, let's talk about those awards a little bit and fill us in yeah, yeah, definitely. So the D business, 30 in their 30s, that was my first award. That was back in April, May. They select 30 young professionals. And it's a very good mix of people, very interesting people with high profile careers. So I was very excited to be part of that cohort. Um, Alexander Clark, the, the owner of Bon 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 the Chocolates, was the keynote speaker. She was also a previous honoree for for the 30 in their 30s. So it was a great event and it was hosted at the Daxton, Daxton Hotel in downtown Birmingham. And then the United Hispanic uh, Chamber of Commerce, that, 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 that was the biggest one because that's a national award. Yeah. And they, do, they normally celebrate five honorees and the highest uh, recognized award is the business person of the year. That, that award goes to a business person that has a long-standing professional career that also makes an impact of giving back to the community. And you know me, I'm always about giving back to the community. I'm highly involved with some nonprofit associations here in Detroit. So it was very interesting that they selected me and I went to represent Detroit in Orlando, Florida with the nice weather down there. Well, uh, unbelievable. And, and and listen, before we go too much further, uh, remind everybody what Anchor Automotive does. Anchor Automotive, it's the leading tier one supplier for data management and labels for the cars, automotive labels, the window sticker for the dealership with the price, the tire pressure label, the certificate of the vehicle. So we do more than 40 uh, government mandated labels for, for the OEMs. Unbelievable. And you've had great success with that. Let, you know, a lot of success comes from obviously the top. So congratulations. That's why you're getting awards. Let's talk a little bit about your leadership style and, and how you've gotten your people on board and, you know, how you've had such success. I think that's, I think that's a very interesting question. So Anchor is a 40 year old traditional company founded in 1983, right? Um, that was one of the biggest challenges when I took over the company is how do I lead with a very big set of age of people, right? And people that have been working here for more than 30 years. So I think what really people think about my leadership that it's so attractive is that it's a very dynamic and different leadership style compared to the old traditional command and control that we do in the automotive industry. It's more of a servant ship leadership. I'm, I'm a leader. I'm not a boss. I lead by example, and I'm part of the group, and, and I empower my group. So I think that's what people really see in my leadership style that they really feel attracted to. Yeah, it's kind of a family atmosphere as well, right? So uh, part of that is also the innovation. And you recently uh, opened Anchor Automotive Software Innovation Hub. Tell us about that. Yeah, ba back in May, uh, we had the pleasure of having the mayor, Ethan Baker, from Troy uh, to do the ribbon cutting. We just opened our innovation hub, and that's one step forward for Anchor Automotive to pivot and adapt to all these new trends that are coming for the automotive industry. Artificial intelligence, blockchain technology. The car has a lot of electrical components, and it's a big computer 
that we as a tier one supplier, we need to adapt and pivot to make sure that we're cutting edge and we're ahead of the curve. Listen, let's let's talk a little bit about technology in your industry because the, the automotive industry, well, let's call it the mobility industry, which is how we're all referring to it now, um, and the technology change and how that's affecting you. I, I think it's very interesting. It, it's, it's really affecting, uh, we do labels, right? We also do data management, and, and that's what where the innovation hub plays a critical role in our moving forward as a business, because we also need to provide software as a service. So I think the success, or for, for me as a company to be successful, I need to keep my people informed, or like previously, of what's coming down the pipe with all these new immobility trends. Well, I'll tell you what, Jose, you've done a marvelous job there. And uh, now that you are laden with metals, uh, make sure you don't pull your wall over when you hang them up there. Okay? <laughs> no, thank you, Chris. It's always a pleasure. But it's good to have you on and you have the happiest of holidays. All right. Happy holidays to you too. Thank you so thank much. You. Thanks for joining us. Jose Flores, the uh, uh, CEO of Anchor Automotive in Troy, Michigan. You've been watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holt.